Okay, here we are again. And we've covered most of the editing topics, so there's just a few more topics that I want to look at in the next two, two or three videos that are just sort of random uh, things to do with how the program works. And in this video we're going to look at script logs. Uh, we looked at this a little bit in one of the very early videos, uh, but I want to do a little bit more, cover this in a little bit more detail now and explain how you can uh, use these to uh, get back your lost information or potentially lost information if you have a power card or something like that. So what I have here is on the right I have the Rube editor with nothing open. Over here I have some files for Rube and this is just a terminal window above there. So what we're going to do is let's open up uh, <laughs> I think we'll go with document A again. We really like that one. It's easy to understand, isn't it? Now you notice that when as soon as I open document A here, this folder popped up. And this is where the backups for document A will go if I save this file. So, well I can't save it now because nothing's changed, but if I was to change it and then save, this file would contain the new information and what was previously here will be copied into this folder bef before overwriting this one obviously. And right now what we have in this folder if we take a look in here is we have this script log and this is just a plain text file and we'll take a look in this file. What's going on? Oh. Okay, so all we have in here is a comment to say when we started this file sometimes can be useful. So let's tail this file to watch what happens to it as we edit the scene. So I'm just going to tail and then... Okay, so every time this file gets edited the tail will be uh, updated in this window above. So I'm going to select this body and we can see up here this has now been added to this file so we'll just check the file. Okay so we have some script has been added into the script log. That's why it's called a script log. So as we do some more things so unselect, select rotate, scale, translate, um, duplicate. So it quickly gets quite busy in that script log there as you can see all of these actions have been run uh, into the scene. Scale it down, move it over here, rotate and so on. So now see we, we're getting up to about two kilobytes already. So this is all the script that's been running. Okay, so what's the point of that? Let's say we had a power cut or you spilt something on your PC or heaven forbid the program crashed or something like that. And I'm just going to close this document without saving, completely without saving. So, so let's say uh, something bad happened and the program shut down. But we still have the script log here because it's being written as we edited the file. So to get back the changes that we made we can uh, after we uh, start the PC up again or whatever recover from whatever the problem was we can open the same document that we started with okay so we, we don't have our editing changes are not there yet obviously because we didn't save the file but if we look in here and we come back to our backups folder just be careful here because what's happened here is because we opened this file again now we have two script logs in here this one with just the 57 bytes in it is 
the new one that's just been created right now. So this is a another almost empty file. And this one here below it, which we had with the 2.3 kilobytes, this is the one that had the information that we were putting into it just before. So we can see that was the time that this one was uh, last saved, I think. So you should be able to get some idea. Uh, this is, by the way, this is months, uh, sorry, year, month, day, hours, minutes, seconds. And you should be able to figure out from that timestamp which thing uh, you're looking for. So to recover this information, what we can do is uh, over in Rube, we will open up a script window. Just make this a little bit smaller and get rid of that and then we can drop drag and drop this script log file directly onto the script window here and that's a bit messy but so all that does is drop the contents of that script log into the script panel and now if we click the run button or hit F5 the script here is executed again and we can get back the same uh, editing changes that we made before we spilt the coffee on the laptop or whatever happened. So this can be quite handy as autosave data or debug data and um, one other thing to be careful of though is notice that when we executed this just now we also put that into the currently running script log. So now we have sort of a similar amount of data in there. So hopefully that all makes sense. Um, it can also be handy because now we can, if I undo this by the way, we can get back to the original state. It can also be handy to do something like you can maybe manually look at the script and say to yourself, well, I didn't really want to do this last part, so I can comment that out. And we'll just see what it would have got up to at that point. Okay, so then that wasn't as far as I wanted to go, maybe so I can undo that and then... I just wanted to get to the point where we added that second A body but before we rotated it. So okay there's a set angle there so I guess if we put if we just comment out these last three lines should be what I'm looking for. Not quite but I mean <laughs> you can see what I'm trying to do here. Uh, you can manually edit the script to perhaps take out some things that you didn't want or just get it to a point that you uh, where you had it nice looking good or something like that. So that's how the script log works and um, yes hopefully that will be useful for somebody at some point and I'll see you in the next video.